Our BIM and engineering team combined, we have around 48 experienced staff members in our engineering department within five offices around the country. We also offer free technical services line for any questions regarding BIM or engineering services along with any of our product related questions. Um, we offer our BIM services to all architects, general contractors, subcontractors. And it, you know, this includes producing models based on the current BIM requirements for your project, you know, locating interior framing for critical study areas such as corners and jams, uh, to eliminate clashes with major leakage framing connections with other trades. We frame our openings using markers through MWF that assign the framing required to the particular opening. And that just example is the door opening right there. We can also provide or produce interior models that include all typical framing along with frame to wall penetrations around ducts, piping, and structural members. So we can include any uh, intermediate framing as well. We can include all the backing for casework, grab bars, handrails that are installed between the stud framing. So really any, anything that's mounted on a wall that requires backing material, we can also include that. Modeling of interior and exterior soffit framing that can include all jipboard ceilings along with kickers, compression posts, or any other custom soffit framing that may be required. Uh, we can also include that as well. Uh, modeling of load bearing and curtain wall framing systems. Uh, we can take that and we can use that, panelize it through NWF too. Uh, we can provide panel drawings for interior walls to assist with installation. These drawings are generated through NWF and include the stud layout with dimensions to avoid clashes and locates opening sizes for all wall penetrations. We also offer panelized drawings for load bearing and shear walls that can be used for off-site or on-site fabrication for quick installation. Uh, these drawings include dimensions, stud locations, sheathing layouts, along with the bill of material to go along with it. Uh, we can perform clash detection using Navisworks between all trades, attend coordination meetings in conjunction with or on behalf of the contractors that are responsible for providing the light gauge framing models. And advanced project coordination between all the trades will help avoid clashes in the field, which incur additional costs, reduce the amount of change orders, and can help accelerate the schedules. Uh, a new service that we've started to offer is an Autodesk point layout system. Uh, we can now assign points to NWF at all of our critical areas, including corners and jams of walls for easy placement. You can also assign points along a curved wall uh, for any difficult area. You can, drop, you can drop the points along a curve so that way you can lay it out easier in the field. Uh, the points can be then transferred to the field and laid out with the proper equipment, such as like a total station. Uh, if changes are made in the field, the total station can uh, revise the point locations and then they can be sent back to the design team who can incorporate the changes back into the model. Here's a few images from one of our hospital projects during construction where we provided BIM modeling and panel drawings for the interior to assist with installation. Uh, we held uh, weekly meetings uh, for coordination between all trades and the Clash detection was performed uh, with Navisworks as well. A few items to consider when if, if you're looking to go after a BIM project, uh, one good thing to always ask for is to find out there's a BIM implementation plan. We're starting to see a lot of these more and more GCs are starting to include these. Um, it gives a good idea of the scope of work that needs to be uh, modeled and the level and everything that goes along with it. Usually within that document, it'll, it'll specify what versions of software are required. Some will require you to use previous versions of Revit, you know, which you got to be careful with because they're not backwards compatible. Also, what type of files you'll need to submit. You know, do they want 3D CAD, Navisworks, Revit files? And it'll include an internal and external schedule usually laid out, along with uh, tentative dates for coordination meetings. These also require dates and times for files to be uploaded to an FTP site for these meetings. You know, some companies are starting to use uh, Autodesk 360, Buzzsaw, Glue for uploading and coordinating between trades as well. Uh, file naming conventions, most projects we have uh, have been very specific naming conventions along with uh, color coding schemes to go along with each trade. Uh, project base points, that's become another new one. Uh, some projects will have a file just specific to project base points to easily locate all trades within the building. These are usually a, a description as well on how the building will be broken up. You know, is it broken up by floor, by wing? Etc. Level of detail, uh, they usually list that in there is very important. The higher level of detail that is required, you know, the, the longer you can take the model. And we typically frame out our models at either like a 3 or 350 level. Uh, we can do up to 400 level detailing, which includes clip strapping, bracing, tie downs, etc. as well. Uh, but when you're putting in, you know, a thousand studs, file size can creep up. So we always stay to check first to make sure you're providing the correct amount of detail within your model. Um, 
this is just an image to give you an example of the different types of or level of detail as I mentioned before. We typically do around a 300 to 350, uh, 400 if you need to get an eclipse and strapping and everything. And get in the 500 level, it's not listed on there, but 500, the detail level is similar to 400. So if you get more into, you have to go out and you need to feel verify everything. That way you can actually get very accurate models so when you turn it over, basically have an as-built for the, the owner to use for facilities management. 